So today we're going to talk about how to lose more weight uh, having a hypothyroid condition, okay? So if you have a slow thyroid, this video is for you. Here's the big problem. When you do research on a hypothyroid, it's a bit complex because you have Hashimoto's hypothyroid condition, you have non-Hashimoto's hypothyroid condition. You're given so much advice, it's almost impossible to know what is the absolute important things to know and what is the trivial. In this video, we're gonna talk about the absolute most important thing you need to focus on to get results with weight loss if you have a Hashimoto's type thyroid case or just regular hypothyroidism. A few basics, you got the thyroid right here. It's located right in the bottom part of the neck, two and a half inches wide. It produces a hormone T4, okay? The four represents the number of iodine molecules. So you got four and then you got this T3 over here, right? So T4. T4 is an inactive thyroid hormone. It's not active. It doesn't really do much. It's a pre-hormone. Your body strips off this uh, one of the iodine molecules and it converts to T3. T3 is the active form of thyroid hormone, okay? It's the thing that goes into all the cells and speeds up your metabolism, as well as weight loss. And here's the most important thing. To get from this T4 to this T3, it has to be converted, okay? 80% of the conversion happens through your liver. And 20% happens through the kidneys. And this is really important information because so many people that have a hypothyroid condition have a fatty liver. I mean, it's almost one for one. If you have belly fat, chances are you have a fatty liver. You can get an ultrasound to find that out. But a fatty liver decreases the capacity for that conversion. So this will be your focus, to get the fat off the liver and improve the function of the liver. Now, it could also be a problem with your gallbladder. It could be a problem with not having a gallbladder. It could be cirrhosis, it could be inflammation or some damage in the liver, but usually it is a fatty liver. Now you would think that all I need to do is cut the fat out of my diet and the fat will go away. That's not how it works and that's not what you wanna do. You do want to cut the carbs out, okay? That's why I'm gonna recommend keto and intermittent fasting, but you don't wanna start cutting down the fat in your diet, okay? Here are a few things to speed up the process. Choline is one of the most powerful nutrients to strip fat off your liver very quickly. You can get it in a powder, you can get it in a supplement. I recommend you get a high quality choline and start taking that on a regular basis. Uh, that's gonna assist. This uh, nutrient is uh, lipotrophic. It's, it basically dissolves fat. Um, and guess what food has the highest amount of choline? Eggs, egg yolks. Interesting, right? So you don't wanna start giving up uh, those foods that are high in choline. In fact, if you have a choline deficiency, you could potentially get a fatty liver. Next thing is selenium. Okay, why selenium? Selenium is also involved in the conversion from T4 to T3. People that have a fatty liver are nearly always deficient of selenium as well as zinc, we'll get to this in a, in a minute. But selenium is an antioxidant. So it actually gets rid of the excess hydrogen peroxide in your body that's generated, especially if you have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. So selenium is essential if you have Hashimoto's. This is really important because it's, it's gonna help your immune system, okay? So if you have Hashimoto's, you wanna take some of this as a supplement and you also wanna do a more strict intermittent fasting. That's gonna drop the inflammation because Hashimoto's is more of an immune issue, okay? But it's also involved in the conversion of T4 to T3. Yes, there's foods high in selenium like Brazil nuts and seafood, but I don't recommend trying to get all of your selenium from foods if you're deficient. You wanna take it as a supplement. Now, I don't wanna get into the brands or dosages, I would just Look online for something that looks like it has a lot of good feedback on other people that are getting good results with it, okay? And then follow the directions on the back of the bottle. All right, next one is iodine. Iodine is part of the raw material to build the thyroid hormone. And a lot of people are deficient in iodine. So I would get this from Seek Help. Next one is zinc. Zinc is really, really important. Taking zinc, will help you in almost every single side effect that hypothyroid 
produces. Like, for example, loss of hair, thinning hair, fatigue, constipation. Uh, zinc is good for that. Zinc is very, 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 very good for the thyroid. It's also good for the liver. And if you have a fatty liver, you are going to be deficient in zinc. Okay? Zinc is in oysters, meat, pumpkin seeds. I recommend getting it as a supplement. So these are the key things. In addition to keto and IF, as your primary focus, to target into this fatty liver to improve the thyroid function. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.